Before proceeding further, let us also understand the limitation of statistics so that we'll be able to appreciate the chapter or the course in a better way. Number one limitation is statistics is something which basically deals with aggregate. So you should have so many. So the statistics basically deals with aggregate. It means an individual will have no significance for statistics. I mean individual data is of no significance to statistics unless that individual data is part of some aggregate. So statistics is something which basically deals with aggregate, number one. Number two, statistics basically deals with what is known as quantitative data. Of course, qualitative data can also be converted into quantitative data by providing a numerical description to the qualitative data, but the focus is on quantitative data. If qualitative data have to be factor that should be converted into quantitative data. Number three, in statistics, we make certain projections. We make certain projections of sales, production, etc. But there are they are correct or possible only under a given set of conditions. So if any of the factor or if any of the condition is violated, then the projections will become inaccurate. Number four, the statistics or the theory of statistics is itself based on what is known as random sampling. It means we cannot cover the entire population of a particular domain to carry out statistical analysis. So we go for what is known as random sampling. So if sampling procedures are not followed, then the conclusions derived from the sampling will not be correct and they would be erroneous in nature. It means for conducting statistics, experts should be consulted before deciding the sampling scheme. 